Hello there and welcome to Can Sanity. Today I'm going to be making pasta sauce and so I thought we would take the time to show you how a KitchenAid food mixer with a vegetable strainer attachment can help you save time when you're making your pasta sauce. Now if you don't happen to have a KitchenAid food mixer then you can still make excellent pasta sauce. You're just going to have to peel your tomatoes the traditional way which will mean you will score the tomatoes blanch them in hot boiling water, and then cool them quickly in ice water, peel them, chop them, and then put them in a food processor or a blender. Now, I like to use San Marzano tomatoes when I'm making my pasta sauce because they have the right amount of acidity, they are an excellent tomato for flavor, and they process up really nicely when you're using a KitchenAid food mixer with the vegetable strainer attachment because of their shape. Now San Marzano's are uh, long and cylindrical and when you buy them at the farmers market they typically come in this size and so they're ideal for processing when you're using the KitchenAid food mixer. Now if you can't find San Marzano tomatoes that's okay you can use Roma tomatoes for making pasta sauce. They're an excellent paste tomato. But when you're using the KitchenAid food mixer, you will have to at least cut the tomatoes in half to process them. And when, you, um, when I do the demonstration, you'll see why. Now, I happen to grow a lot of tomatoes in my garden and I have baskets of beautiful um, Cascade tomatoes. Now, um, I'm going to make some pasta sauce out of these tomatoes as well, but because of their shape, I am going to have to cut them in half at least to process them using my KitchenAid food mixer. Now, I'll just wash up and we'll get started with the demonstration. Okay, so I'm just going to put together the vegetable strainer attachment and attach it to the KitchenAid mixer. But I did want to say that if you happen to have the meat grinder attachment for the KitchenAid mixer, then all you need to do is order the additional parts for um, converting that into your vegetable strainer attachment. So to assemble, just unscrew the bolt, take the cap off, attach the first part, and you can screw that down. Then put these parts in, this spring, and then slide that in there. And then hold that firmly in place. And then screw that on. Okay. And then put the shield on and then put the splatter guard and then this here is just your plunger for um, pushing your tomatoes to use to push your tomatoes into the um, into the vegetable stringer attachment okay now for the fun stuff processing the tomatoes so um, I'm going to turn the uh, KitchenAid mixer on momentarily but it's going to get quite loud so I just want to say that, remind you that when you're using the San Marzano tomatoes and they're this size, you just have to process, you can process them whole and it'll peel and seed and core your tomatoes. Um, now I've prepared the tomatoes uh, and weighed them out. I have 12 pounds here and, and the ones that were larger I cut in half. And so I'm going to turn the, the, pro, the KitchenAid mixer on and just I'm going to just start it, turn it to like low, medium and just to get started just so that you can um, see the demonstration and then but you can turn that right up to high and then it'll process faster so I'm just gonna get started
so it took 10 minutes to process all those tomatoes and you can see I have a nice big bowl of beautiful tomato puree that I can use for my pasta sauce and all the discard here which was the seeds the core and the peel is um, over here and I'll talk about what you can do with that at the end of the video. So now I'm going to move on and process the next 12 pounds of tomatoes using the traditional way. Okay, so before I can put my um, tomatoes into my boiling hot water, I need to uh, cut an X on the top and just, uh, just so that they're easy to peel. And so I'll do that first and then I'll put them in the hot, boiling hot water. Okay, so my water is boiling and I'm going to blanch my first bowl of tomatoes. And I'm just going to set my timer for 45 seconds. And when the timer goes off, I'm going to take the tomatoes out and put them in uh, cold ice water. Okay, my timer just went off. So I'm just going to scoop the tomatoes out. Some of the peels are just coming off even before I shock them with the cold water. Okay, so these uh, have been uh, dumped into the sink with uh, ice water with ice in it. And so now I can take those out because I dumped the other um, bowl into my um, boiling water and I will, that will go off momentarily and so then I will take those out of the hot water and then put them in this ice water. You can see that the tomatoes are just, the peel is just falling right off. Okay, so now I'm just going to peel the tomato, and the, the peel will come off really easy. And then I'm just going to cut it in half, just, and then I'm just going to put it in my food processor. And so I'll peel up enough to um, process, and then I'll process uh, that batch, and then I'll just add it to my bowl. Okay, I've put uh, my tomatoes in to my food processor bowl as high as I would for each batch. And then I'll just put the lid on it, turn it on and process it. I'll process it until it's well blended and then I'll put the uh, puree into the bowl and then I will process the next batch. Okay so I finished processing my tomatoes and that's my 12 pounds of tomatoes that I blanched and then put into uh, cold water, peeled, chopped, and put into my food processor. And so if you look at the result, this is the same bowl that I used when I was um, using the KitchenAid food mixer with the vegetable strainer attachment. And as you can see, I ended up with a little bit more puree. And the reason being is that when you use the KitchenAid mixer with the attachment, it also takes out the seeds. So that doesn't end up into your puree. And some of the pulp, a little bit of the pulp gets left behind too in the um, using the KitchenAid mixer with the attachment. Now it's only just under two cups that uh, I ended up getting in addition to what I uh, got out of the 12 pounds that I proce processed with the KitchenAid mixer. 
So now here's the big difference. It took me 50 minutes, 5 oh, 50 minutes to process the tomatoes, to remove the peels using the traditional method. Whereas when I use the KitchenAid stand mixer with the vegetable strainer attachment, it only took me 10 minutes. So if you're planning on processing a lot of tomatoes and you like to make tomato sauce and, and can that for uh, the winter and you like to process a lot of that, then I would say it's worth the investment especially if you have the KitchenAid mixer already, it's worth the investment to pick up the vegetable food strainer attachment. Now, what I did with the, um, with the peels and the seeds, which was the discard from the KitchenAid mixer, is I put it into an eight liter pot and I added three cups of water and I brought that up to a boil and then I brought it down to a simmer. And what I've done is I've put my food mill, uh, just set it over top of a pot, and I'm just going to run this through my food mill and collect the juice at the bottom. And you're going to see that there's still a lot of tomato goodness that you can get out of, those to, uh, out of that tomato discard. And so I'm just going to take a little bit of time and run this through the food mill, and then I'll show you the result. So I've run my tomato mixture through my food mill and I ended up with now just only two cups of the discard and about seven and a half cups of tomato juice. And now it's a little on the thin side, but that's okay because I'm going to add that back to the pot and add my seasonings. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper and some hot sauce and I'll simmer that and reduce it a little bit further so it thickens up just a little bit. And then I will cool it completely and then store it in my fridge or put it in my fridge and enjoy it all week long. Well, now that all my tomatoes have been processed into puree, now I'm going to get to my pasta sauce. But that's for another video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a great day.